to medieval float problems like being attacked by medieval salt goblins. There's medieval float knowledge to shove in your noggin. Subscribe on medieval iTunes, quit stalling. <laughs> okay. Oh, all right. Welcome, everybody, Ooh. to Medieval Daily Solutions Podcast. Oh, that's pretty medieval. This is medieval Graham over here. <laughs> medieval Derek. Um, and Ashkan is gone once more to plan for the conference. Uh, thanks for joining us in the studio, Derek. You're welcome. Absolutely. And we're going to have some fun talking about marketing today. Derek is one of our uh, marketing experts, if not the marketing expert behind Float On. I don't want that responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Should have thought about that before you came on board. Oh, okay. Um, all right. So today's question is, I'm buying a float center that's been around for a couple years. I'm definitely going to make some changes and upgrades when I take it over, and I'm thinking about changing the name. Bum, bum, bum. Do you think it's better to keep the old name or go with a new one for new ownership? Seeing as we don't know why they're buying it or any history of the old float center let's um, assume that they're not like they're not hated you know like they were running they have good, good reviews yeah, exactly. a good That's brand just... name the person just decided to sell because they wanted to go live in tahiti sure and let's right. say it's like not quite there's i mean like float on has you know bright yellow walls and blue fabrics like right. if someone came in and wanted to kind of have a little more professional vibe i could see them changing the name for example you know make it more like float float medical or float white walls or something. Float off. Yeah, float off. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's like if someone wanted to come in, rebrand is float off. Okay. So the, the business was doing well. It's got a good reputation because anything other than if like it had a bad reputation and people didn't like it and the bad reviews. Yeah. Definitely change the name. But given yeah, like all three, three stars on Yelp or right. something. Yeah. Yeah. Ditch that and move on to something better. I mean, the first question, since it's now your business, are you happy with the name? Like, are you going to me? I feel like it's important to have a business that I'm happy calling that name. Like if I wasn't too attached to the name personally, I probably would change it. If I'm indifferent about the name and the name seems to kind of have a good vibe around the town, you can probably keep a name and change the decor. It can still be float on and not be blue and yellow sure. anymore. Yeah, absolutely. So there is some brand equity to the name, especially if that center has been around and the word of mouth. If, let's say, somebody decides the float on goes out of business and somebody's still talking about float on, they go to Google float on and they can't find it now and they have to decide all over again what center to choose, you've kind of, you're starting all over again. But you do have some, I guess, brand equity in that name that maybe you should keep it, but then make other parts of the business yours. Yeah, I guess, I mean... <laughs> At the risk of sounding redundant with many other episodes, you know, it really kind of depends on the context. Yes and so, no. So let's just try to argue both sides, Okay. I guess. So for keeping the name, like the arguments for not changing the name. All right. Well, you start. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, one, um, you're buying a business, which means in part you're paying for their branding. Like presumably they have signs, they have brochures, they have a website that's already branded with all of their stuff, mm -hmm. they have a logo. So you're giving, you're, you're already pitching money in towards getting everything associated with their brand. So rebranding uh, not only costs you more money to do, it's kind of, you know, also costs you all the things that you're losing along the way that you would have just gotten tossed in. Right. You have to, if you change the name, you have to repay for all the signage and all the pamphlets and brochures and, and everything, you know, internal signage, external signage, external signs are really expensive. So... I mean, that's something yeah, to consider. T-shirts, you know, yeah. um, any branding that's out there in the world that you can't just change, like a website where it updates. You know, you can't do like a, a T-shirt update and all of a sudden your logo changes on all the T-shirts that people right. are wearing around. So uh, you kind of lose all of all of that. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's, that's one of the main things, mo monetarily, definitely. Um, you know, I mean, an, another one is just name recognition, mm -hmm. right? If people have been talking about this certain float center around, like float on, and all of a sudden it just turns into, um, uh, you know, like... Uh, uh, weightless cloud float center or something float, like float that. Off. Um, well, yeah, float off is like still a more cause. Okay. Just like thinking of a total change, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. weightless cloud now. All right. Um, or uh, Atlantis, Atlantis float center, and now people are like, oh, have you heard of Atlantis float center? And everyone who has heard of float on over the last eight years is now like, no, no, who are they? You know, and and I get yeah. So it's only two years, so maybe that's not a good. You know, it'd be like float on at two years old or something. Right. Um. 
what else? All of your SEO for the website you're losing? Because uh, presumably you're getting a new web domain because you, yeah, you don't you, want... You could probably do some redirects and say, like, this old domain, since you're owning the domain, you yep. can say it's a new domain. You know, that's a way you can kind of help some of your Google juice. Um, but it's hard, some. all you're the third-party reviews and everything on platforms you can't control. I mean, you try to get, you know, blogs written about you two years ago to change the name on there. It might not even be, you know, active anymore. Yeah. Yeah, so just the, yeah, it's it's extra time, extra money. Uh, you lose everything that's out there in the world already. And uh, you're going to have to, you know, I mean, it's it's essentially like starting a new center from scratch, but you do have a giant email mailing list. You have people who have, they know your location. You can, you can email a lot of people and let them know you're just changing your name. So at least your most valuable customers, all your members will totally understand what's going on and right. help spread word of mouth. But... You're, you're kind of putting yourself a little bit at a disadvantage. So th- those are the downsides that I see. I don't know if you... No, I, I, I'm pretty much in line with you there. I'm trying to think of examples where businesses have changed their name but kept everything else the same and it tanked the business. And I think that might go back to maybe just the operations of the new owners. Under new management isn't always a good thing. So, Yeah. Um, okay. So, so arguments for changing the name, which there are definitely some on that side too. Go for it. Okay, uh, number one, just being happy with it. Like, honestly, right. like, separate from anything else, like money, you know, time, all of this stuff, it's your business, and a certain part of being a small business owner is, is doing things that make you happy and making your business your own. And, uh, you know, if you're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars or even, you know, a little less purchasing this business, making sure you it's what you want it to be and you have the sense of ownership and, and it is your baby, I think is important. So in that sense, it totally yeah. makes sense. Like, there's a certain... Like point at which you can't even put a dollar amount on that. Just being happy and feeling ownership over your small business. Right. That goes back to my original point. You should be happy about everything in your business, and if the name's not one of them, change it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So you know that's that's one. Um, another one is just if you have a very different feel. You know, if you're taking over a place called like um, uh, you know the the floating Buddha float center or something like that. We're trying to make fake names up. We're going to come up with a real name here really soon. I know. I'm really trying. Hard. I'm just trying to add Cloud on, like, 10 Float words. Center. Yeah. Um, right. The Floating Buddha Float Center has some very serious connotations along with it. Like, that's not a neutral name right. necessarily. So you might just want to be pulling in different clientele or want a totally different vibe. And if a name is strongly enough in one direction, it might just be that you can't even get close to really what you want your float center to represent without changing floating Buddha to something else. Right. If it's floating Buddha and it's white walls and very clinical, there's a disconnect. Yeah. 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 Um, other arguments for changing the name? I guess it's not, you know, all said, it's not too hard to rebrand. Like a couple years in the scheme of things. I mean, hopefully your, your business is around for a couple decades at least, you know, and, and hopefully it carries on even after that. And it's amazing. I mean, even being being in year eight now, the things that we did at, two, uh, at year two feels so long ago. Right. Like six years ago feels so long ago in the lifespan of Float On. And I can imagine a world where we started as a completely different company and then rebranded, and I, I would barely even remember well, what things two, it started with. Year two, we were with. still four tanks center. Uh, yeah, we were still we were just about to upgrade to six tanks. So we so. were even a different center back then. It's kind of like we're under new ownership. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Uh, well, kind of. <laughs> um, we just have a couple new tanks and yeah. everything else stayed as weird as it always was. That's true. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I honestly think the, there, there's a lot of reasons why it's not quite as scary to upgrade. I mean, I, I know places that have changed their name, and for a while there's still just remnants of old stuff that had the old name laying around. It's just mm-hmm. a slow process of upgrading as you get uh, money and time, and you still just catch some. You know, it'll be like right. a year later, and you're like, "What? That that one site still calls us by this name?" Okay, you know, and you find more stuff to change. But in the end, it's 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 doable. You know, it's it's you're not talking about uh, you know a hundred thousand dollars here to change all the branding. You're talking about if you have to redo signs and everything else, like you know, tens of thousands or something like that, and a little bit of time. And over the course of you know, again, a decade. That can absolutely pay off if what you decide is you really want this new one. So it's I guess I have less reasons why it's necessary to rebrand and more like, um, you know, if this is something you really want to do, encouragements or, mm-hmm. or reasons why you shouldn't totally rule it out. Right. And I think it goes back to, just to kind of summarize, do what's consistent with your brand, do what you're happy with, and I would argue do 
what your customers are also going to be happy with too. And I think if they're they're super attached to the name, then really reconsider it. But I highly doubt people aren't attached to your name. They're attached to your service, the tanks. It's not really the name, it's what you provide. So kind of keep that in mind too. Yeah. So yeah, if you want to, you know, don't don't let the the headache ahead of you stop you. But do keep in mind it is going to be a little bit of a hassle, a little bit of a headache. You'll be starting a little bit behind and yeah, I guess just knowing that going into it, hopefully that that helps you make a little more informed decision. Sounds good to me. <laughs> and uh, if you want any more of our advice, just go to floattanksolutions.com slash podcast, and you can send us any crazy questions you want there. Or not so crazy. Or sane. We accept sane questions, although it might not be immediately obvious. <laughs> Sorry, no no offense to people who ask questions. I love all of the questions Didn't and the question I answers say askers you equally. always make fun of the questions? Shh, 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 shh. Okay, goodbye, everyone. Take goodbye, care. everyone. We're going to handle this we offline. Love you.